Mr. Gates, you visit us tonight, and yet your presence has long preceded your person. We've interacted with your inventions and have been inspired by your interventions, which have revolutionized global history and the future into perpetuity. You've helped control rising health issues, alt, halt, and delete deadly diseases, debug virus sites. You've taught us to escape vicious cycles, to shift problematic trends, to troubleshoot frozen systems, and restart shutdown engines in more ways than one. <laughs> You gave humanity not only the Windows XP, but created so many windows of opportunity. Brought us not only Office and Excel, but with your dedication to equity and quality in education, make it possible for millions to excel. And with your passionate focus on building the micro and soft institutions of today, your work shapes the macro and hard institutions of tomorrow, as your investments in human capital today reshape the political, economic, and social structures and futures of the countries in which you work. It's not just by your software, but by your hard drive, not just by your personal computers, but just as much by your personal contributions empowering even where there is no power. It's in dedicating not just your funding, but more importantly, your mind, that built the greatness that is Microsoft to the greatest challenges of this world. It is by this philanthropic source code you've written, which has so much defined charitable action, that you've provided humanity a rich library of templates and possibilities to draw and build upon in working toward a 2.0 version of the world. Honorable guests, I mentioned our guest was a nation. My orders of magnitude were slightly amiss. Please join me in welcoming on stage a world of good, Mr. Bill Gates. Mr. Gates, we deeply appreciate your visit to Kuwait to inspire young people to global good. While this trip may be a quick line in your weekly planner, it's a line that will underwrite and empower many young people's goals